Hi folks, Skyrise here from GameMakerWorld.com and right now in here I want to show you how to build the mod pack for the awesome server Terra Incognito. So let's get right to it. First off we need a clean Magic World 7.2.0 which by the time of this video is the most current Magic World mod pack version. And I actually deleted my Magic World um, to do this, but what you can also do, um, if you have some save games you want to keep, or for any other reason, you can just go to Options and press Force Update. And then, since we have selected Magic World before, it's going to download or re-download the mod pack. This is going to take a bit of time, so we will pause here and come back after Magic World has downloaded and started. Here we are, Magic World all started up. We press quit to get back to the launcher. There we go. If your launcher is not set to reappear after you close a mod pack, just start your launcher again in the way you used to. And we go to, since Magic World is already selected, Edit Mod Pack. And we are already in the mod section. We do not have to touch the jar mods or the core mods, it's just in here. We go to Add Mod, and you can see I have a handy little folder where all the files from the six links that you received are stored. You will have another folder, but just select the files um, from wherever you have downloaded them and one after the other we just pop them in there very easy and straightforward then we close the edit mod pack menu and go to launch and this brings up the magic world in its slightly modified version and while it is loading um, there are a few things um, I want to note First of all, this does not break your other Magic World 7.2.0 games. You can still use your safe games um, in single player, but keep in mind, as soon as you open them, they will be modified by this mod pack and will then have all the other mods installed. I believe you can afterwards roll them back and still use them, but I can't really promise it. So um, the other part, which is probably more important, if you play on other Magic World servers, which also use 7.2.0, you can do so, and the mod pack did not lose any mods, so it is still fully compatible. And we go to multiplayer, add server, and we are adding FTB TV Terror Incognito. And the address is ftb tv dot GameMakerWorld.com colon five 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 nice number for magic done here's the server um, important note uh, this server might not be up all the time but it is publicly publicly available there we go um, we might be testing stuff or having some features restricted sometimes um, oh here we go fresh nice mod pack and you can see we are in town there are NPCs of all kinds there is another video um, in which we run around here and I show you what all this is about but mm, let me just run through here and give some quick comments oh yeah item giver gives me stuff there are people that sell things including pet pets which is one of the mods and yeah, traders. These guys can be hired. Hmm, I wonder where it says latest death. Hmm, this is a completely fresh mod pack. Weird, weird. Not sure where it's getting that from. Oh, yeah, you can see all kinds of random stuff. Yeah, and there's shops here and this weird stuff which I made myself with a little chisel also these 
And you can really pixel by pixel create your own blocks. Isn't that nice? It's 8x8x8 eight by eight by eight, courtesy of Mind Painter. And yeah, this is a NPC. Who needs help? Oh, let's see. Uh, I don't have my other item thingies. But um, he actually gives a quest. But because this is a server, um, my player is already stored as having solved his quest. And there's all kinds of things, like here, writing on the wall with Mind Painter. More NPCs. Yeah, Twilight Forest is in here too, after all. A very seedy bar with bottles, also custom made, these cupboards, and all this is all custom made with World pa uh, Painter. With Minecraft pa um, World Painter? Minecraft? Mind Painter, yeah, Mind Painter. This is not uh, done by me, but you could actually go and paint your own pictures, because you now can use the canvas item and paint on it with colors. Very, very nice. And, oh yeah, he's hungry. Out here are the mobs, like the very special infernal mobs. Um, maybe I should just spawn one in. In my config on this server, Endermen are always um, infernal mobs. See? Getting all kinds of evil traits. And all other mobs have a 10% chance. And there is also, of course... Let's see... To show you just one mob from the Primitive Mobs mod. Huh? Come on! Hit me, baby, one more time! Well... I oh, 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 oh! Do, uh, yeah, it's a mimic. And it drops chests, and it's very nice for... <laughs> for maps. Where um, you have a um, classic D and D feel, and there is also books that r uh, fly around, enchanted books, and when you kill them, they drop their own book. And there is uh, cursor tools, and they drop themselves. And all this, um, uh, all of this mod pack really works together nicely. I also have um, no, it's not in the client right now. Um, on the server side, there is a mob spawn mod. And as soon as this project is a bit further, so that might actually be by the time you watch this video, um, there will be a tutorial on how to build the server side of this, which is a little more complex, but it's really cool. And you can make awesome servers with this. And there have been, like, I think small blocks or something more, which are dealt. Which dealt with nice structure like this, not as nice. No, go away. There you go. But they weren't as nice, and this is stable on a server. This is pretty awesome. So, guys, you can just come to the server, try out the questing and the other stuff, and settle down if you want, and find out what Terra Incognito is all about. I'll see you online. Skyrise signing out.